Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. In the previous episode we finished our bathroom setup and it is now slowly but surely filling itself up. I left the game running for a couple of cycles so my duplicants can finish the immediate tasks and now we're ready to continue. First things first, we have a skill point to give and I was thinking, why not actually dive into art fundamentals with Otto? Because usually the art job is very specific and once you're done with it, you're done with it and you could go back to cooking. I actually really like that idea. This doesn't need to be a dedicated job. Maybe let's have a look at the research tree. There could be something in decor we already want. Yeah, I mean a bunch of hanging pots and moldings wouldn't be the worst of ideas and it's a cheap research. It is now cycle 47 and we didn't get a proper duplicant just yet. I'm sure if we are patient enough, it's going to be rewarding. But yeah, at this point, I think it's time to go down to the next level, dig all of this out. Some of our food is going to be not in carbon dioxide atmosphere for a couple of cycles. That could be a slight issue I might want to temporarily resolve. So I think I'm actually going to trap my ration box in here instead. And we just wait until this fills up with carbon dioxide, which should happen soon because Devon is then just breathing out down into this hole. But yeah, we cannot keep the ration box here. As we dig down, of course, we're gonna drop the layer of carbon dioxide as well. But I still think at this point, I wanna stop with the ladder on this side. This here is gonna be our main ladder. Maybe it's now time to open this up as well. I moved the ration box. It's gonna take a while until this filled up with carbon dioxide, but maybe we can also have a look at the research and do something about refrigeration. Yeah, it's just one research away and we also get more or less useful other machines. Before I forget about it, I also want to say, Otto, you do the decorating. Uh, this is all going to change. Once we get duplicants, we are going to reassign the priorities. This was actually a really good example. A duplicant just brought something here, exhaled carbon dioxide, and here we go. We already have a little bit of it. Just need enough to fill up the first two tasks. We got another skill point for Devon. Looks like we're not going to need the advanced research until the next skill point. I'm just going to go into crop tending. And now they are super fast harvesting the plants. Absolutely wonderful. By the way, every now and then I'm emptying this storage bin. We now have a lot of materials in this single tile, saving us frames if nothing else. Yeah, look at this. It's really not worth having more creativity. It's just decorating speed. You have to do this so seldomly. It's just not worth getting a dedicated decorating dupe. Man, still not good luck. Denied. I feel really good about our water supplies. There's still much more incoming. Well, not much more, but still more, I would say. So maybe we continue exploring a little bit. Like, I want to know what is over here. And we're just going to dig a little corridor into various directions. By the way, we just completed the refrigerator research, so I'm going to take apart this ration box and instead we're going to place a refrigerator the next day. We also got the hydroponic farms. I believe the refrigerators became viable because they only take 120 watts while they are cooling something down, but as soon as they are cooled down, they should only take 20 watts. This should actually make it possible to sustain this. It's just 20 watts. It's like having two lamps. Oh no, they all woke up because of this freaking shine bug. Let's uh, kill this guy off. For that reason, I'm actually gonna disable this. I'm gonna set this to automatic again. They're only here to sleep. And this way, no new shine bugs are gonna make it in. Hold on, we took apart the ration box. That's good. Let's sweep up the sandstone and instead, uh, food, we wanna have two refrigerators. I'm actually only gonna go with one. Because we're still limited with power. I don't want to overdo it. In here we want to store everything edible apart from muckroot and nutrient bars. And we want this to have the highest priority. So they bring it here immediately. And there it is cooling the contents. We should be able to see that. Yeah, look at that. Temperatures going down ever so slightly. It's gonna take a lot of power as it does it, but let's see once it actually cooled down. Maybe it's not a good idea to put the meal ice in here, to be honest with you. Because then we just cool it down and then heat it up at the grill again. That means we should have a ration box just for the meal ice. 
that's actually a good idea. We're gonna put that here and we don't want meal ice in the refrigerator. As a matter of fact, we only want the cooked food in the refrigerator, which means bristle berries go out as well, meat goes out, mushrooms go out and spindly grub fruit as well. Instead, all of these ingredients should be here in the ration box, also priority 9. We want to have it in the carbon dioxide as soon as possible and this is now going to be carbon dioxide once enough accumulated. Food is now at 1 degrees, looks like this is the lowest it gets and this means minus 0.6% per cycle, at least for the pickled meal. I guess for the barbecue it would be a much greater reduction. And as far as I can tell, this is still using 120 watts. Ah, but it was cooling down something new. Let's see what happens once this is at 1 degree. There we go, we did it and it is using 20 watts. Alright, that's great. It is now time to keep exploring. I want to know what's up here. I think we already found the left edge and the right edge of the world. That means just up and down we have to explore. There is a natural gas geyser and a cool steam vent. There is a breach in the abyssalite. We definitely want to fix that until we actually do something with it. We also have to check if there is a breach here. Uh, though this guy is not going to emit anything anymore because it is overpressured. Now once we dig down here we're gonna have to deal with slime. Either we try to avoid that completely in the beginning until we have Atmo suits but I think this is just silly. We should rather find a way to properly deal with it. Right now there are absolutely no slime lung germs. As soon as we dig up the first slime we're gonna be in deep trouble if it happens in polluted oxygen. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna make a little liquid log right here. It's gonna be slightly annoying because the duplicants are always gonna be soaking wet, but I think it's gonna be worth it just to clean out this biome. I want to do it as quickly as possible and we will release a lot of slime lung. But I think this will give us an opportunity to collect all the polluted water in an area somewhere down here and then we will have freedom to continue building the ladder down. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Just a little bottle emptier here and we are gonna be golden with a liquid lock. We're gonna make our way down here and instead we're gonna close this off. So no gas exchange can happen until we open the liquid lock again. We're gonna tell this bottle emptier to take water. We're gonna make it high priority and enable auto bottle. This way the duplicants will grab some from the pitcher pump and bring it over. We will continue with our next layer here, but I think I want to open this up, build the ladder all the way down and yeah, actually let's build it down here and then we can collect all the water here, rebuild the liquid pump here at the bottom. I can already do that. And instead we're gonna be bringing the pipes up here and we also have to grab our power cable, trusty power cable, come on over, come on over baby. I believe one thing we might be able to do, temporarily at least, is set up an algae terrarium here. This is gonna consume a little bit of carbon dioxide and algae and it's gonna produce oxygen so my duplicants don't have to go too far to catch their breath again. Actually it also requires water, so this is definitely not a viable solution until we have a renewable water source hooked up. And there we go, Camille is already taking care of the first little bit of oxygen this terrarium is producing. There, the breach actually happened. We are gonna deconstruct the liquid pump as well here. And then the rest of the liquid we're just gonna mop up. Now will you look at this. Harold could be our operator. I mean operators have a lot of various jobs around the base. Probably consuming all their daytime. So I can really see this work. I mean it is the first duplicant that is actually really acceptable. We just have to make sure that he is not getting upset. Because he's a binge eater. But yeah, I think Harold is going to be our dedicated operator. I want to print him. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's do it. Harold, welcome to the tribe. You need a bed. You also need a mess table. And I think that is everything. No, actually, you also need more plants. So let's make sure we fill these up. But there he is. Welcome. And he already gets a chit chat. Unfortunately, he's not going to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sorry, Harold. It's just like that with the freshlings. Kimmel also earned the skill point. I'm gonna go into improved carrying 2 with her. It's useful for building and Harold, I believe, improved the tinkering right away. So we can get into mechatronics engineering at some point. 
Yeah, let's freaking do it. Harold, you're gonna get a hat first day, even before you get a bed. It's crazy. And that means it's gonna change something about the priorities. For instance, operating is not gonna be done by Camille anymore. No, Devin is doing the operating at the moment. That means we can lower that priority in contrast to their other priorities. And then Harold's priority definitely is going to be operating. And I'm also going to give him more to do with the supplying and stuff. Yeah, I want him to supply and store all the way around. Less focus on building and digging and uh, maybe tidying. Hmm. I mean, Otto really doesn't have the time to tidy and stuff. So maybe tidying is also going to have a priority. Yeah, but this is probably also going to be temporary. I feel like toggling is something important for the operator. We still need duplicate to just haul things around. But it should already work better now that Harold is doing all the operating. Though at the moment we don't have much to operate. Except maybe filling up the coal generator, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Operating or supplying. So Harold should be taking care of that quick. And look at that. He's actually doing it. Yes, that was totally worth it. Yeah, we need a dedicated operator. Would have been nice to also have an interest in building, but we take an operating only. And now he's taking care of tidying, which is also good. This was always taking a little bit long to get to. Looks like we have enough water here in the liquid lock, so we are gonna disable this. And Camille is installing the next pump. Wonderful. There's just a cable missing. Yeah, or two cables. There we go. Wonderful. I'm gonna try to connect these two pools together. We just have to fill up a bunch of tiles, get rid of all of these, and it can flow over. We just have to be careful here. We want to make sure to build these tiles first. There's a tiny... B Actually, it doesn't matter. We already made the liquid lock there. Wouldn't matter if we had some chlorine in the joint. But then again, this is not really the solution I wanted to see. I basically want to make the base the size of the planetoid and fill it up entirely with oxygen. That is my dream. But for now, I guess we just continue and we try to stay cautious. By the way, I now should focus on what I'm using to build. For instance, right here, granite might be better because sandstone we have to grab from up here. Granite we have available. Uh, check this out. There's some bleach stone anyways. It doesn't really matter. We will be getting some chlorine anyway. So what I'm going to be doing is not caring about this too much. And we're just going to be digging our way over there. Actually, I need a tile here just so that the water flows the way I want it to. But my point is we shouldn't care too much about the mixing of gases in the basement region anymore. We're going to live with the sopping wet debuff until we actually get access to the Atmo suits. Our morale can take a little hit at this point, without the colony suffering stress. But then again, as soon as we dig up some bleach stone, this is something I would like to store. I will be making a separate storage bin for the bleach stone here, also submerged in water because it is actually emitting chlorine all the time. And eventually it's gonna be gone. As a matter of fact, it's gonna be gone pretty quick. So let's make sure it lands in this storage bin for now. And it is also... Ooh, rot pile. We also want that stored in this bin. Good that I saw that. But under consumable ore, there is the bleach stone. And maybe we also keep the oxalite if we ever come across some. Could be useful in the future to have it stored away without depleting. Let's see, Devon is actually picking it up. We need to make sure that Devon is not going to sleep. Oh no, he already dropped it again. This is such a problem. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to the Atmosuit Age. But I don't mind suffering a little bit in the beginning. Come on, Devon, you can do it. Just drop it in the bin. Yes, okay, just before bedtime. Good job, good job. So far so good, we're bringing the water over so we can keep on pumping it up. Now I'm also breaching through here. We are gonna endure some polluted oxygen and as mentioned, in conjunction with slime, this is not gonna particularly serve us well. So what we're gonna do is convert this oxygen, the polluted oxygen, into normal oxygen. And all we have to do for that is hook up a bunch of the odorizers, which should be easy enough. Half of my duplicants suffer hypothermia. It's not the worst, they just get a little bit slower. Have to stop every now and then to do a quick sneeze. But it looks as though once my duplicants come out of the cellar, we just don't have enough time. Look at that, they're probably not gonna make it to bed. Though, I wonder, are you capable of doing it? Ooh, okay, looks like Camille can do it. And Harold, you're not gonna sleep in a bed tonight. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it is now time to go for that fourth downtime slot. I do not mind this much. I mean, we're just gonna lose a little bit of work time 
Eventually, we would have had this many downtime slots anyways. But it's certainly gonna be more efficient than Harold just sleeping it off somewhere else during the day. Now, once we got that deodorizer in place, we're not gonna need the algae terrarium anymore. I'm glad it was just sucking out my algae. And then somebody should be taking care of that. Actually, Otto is already bringing some filtration medium. There he is, all hurried and worried. You're gonna do it. Look at that. Fresh oxygen for you guys. And now we can actually work in the cellar without the oxygen issues. Also, of course, the slime lung can only survive in polluted oxygen. It is slowly gonna die in normal oxygen, which is another advantage of this. Also, look at the nice gold amalgam we can get from here. And also, thimble reed seed. <gasps> this is amazing. Okay, we got a freaking... Where, where is it? Where, where is that thing? Yeah, it is this one here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I thought I could only get that at the second planetoid. Thimble reed. Actually, for this small colony, I believe just one is gonna do the trick. Yeah, we're gonna set up one farm tile for this. Do I really wanna do this here? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm actually gonna make this right over there instead. Thimble reed, if I'm not mistaken, is gonna require something else. Let's head into plumbing, pitcher pump, and we want to pump from the polluted water in this case. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Moment of truth. There it is, thimble reed seed. Plant that bad boy. We need those for Atmos suits, of course. This is great. Actually, how far away are we from Atmos suits? Ah, here it is. We could even do it with our current research equipment. I think I want to do that. Why not? What else do we unlock? The loom, insulated gas stuff. Yeah, we definitely require those. At this point, I don't see a reason not to go for it. I think we only need refined metals and the thimble reed. So we were actually lucky. Well, actually, we were not lucky because it is in the world. Yeah, there it is. There's another one. Okay, this is great. The previous time I did the DLC, I think on the first planetoid there was none. But this, of course, is a total game changer. Though... It's mostly gonna be for my duplicate protection when it comes to temperatures and all the debuffs they get from eye irritation and such. Bathroom loop is still not quite filled up, but soon enough we're gonna be starting to fill up the polluted water here. We'll have to see how that goes. Now, are we lucky enough to get... Ooh. Tidying supplying. Morale bonus while in space. Cannot do cooking errands. Wow, check this out. This is absolutely OP. Stary eyed morale bonus of plus 10 in space. This is like, wow, this is insane. But this doesn't really go with the interests, I have to say. Yeah, this is not really complimentary because I would keep him as a tidying and supplying guy. Man, I'm so tempted. I think I'm gonna keep him to keep the base tidy, but then eventually he could also become a pilot when there's not much left to tidy or he could help with colonizing other planetoids because he's efficient, hauling things around and staying happy in space. I'm not so sure. I guess if it proves wrong, then we're just gonna kill him off, right? Let's print him. Man, two new duplicates in one episode. This is not gonna happen a lot, let me tell you guys. But holy cow, there we go. And he's also gonna spend his first night on the floor. What you gonna do? There, and we also need another set of plants, which we shall have right there. In terms of skills, we're gonna get into improved strength this time around, so we can get the plumbing skill. We should do that. And I'm also gonna give him this cap, I think, just to spice it up. Though I will have to see how the carrying cap looks like first. Wow, this is great. After suspending 47 cycles or so without success in duplicants, we now were pretty lucky. However, now we have more duplicants than we have toilets, so it's time to add a new schedule. The schedule is basically gonna be the same, just shifted slightly. We're gonna have those four downtime slots here and then two bedtime slots. I'm gonna put Meep on this second schedule and just so that he's not alone, we're also gonna have Harold on the schedule. Now it's also time to give these proper names. This is gonna be shift one and we want to disable the alarms. And this obviously is gonna be shift two. Great, this is gonna help us tremendously. Now we just have to add some more priorities. Harold, uh, Meep, soar back, what are you doing? Oh, of course, they are gonna have their downtime in just a second. So that's actually gonna be good. But we want to set up some priorities for Meep. We can take Harold off tidying duty and Meep is going to tidy everything. That's going to be highest priority. As a matter of fact, life support. Yeah, now we need to change everything again. I'm going to spend some more time on this later on, but I'm going to decrease life support for Otto and instead Meep is going to do that. Tidying and then supplying and storing is going to be next. 
Digging and building, not operating, not, and I guess that's it. Toggling could also be good. I'm gonna give this a little bit of priority. Actually, we're just gonna keep it at that. Harold is doing the toggling for now. Otto doesn't need to focus on supplying and storing. You know, I'm gonna go over this in due time. And I will definitely show you everything that I've done, but I think I have to go through this in my own time without recording, properly thinking about it. But yeah, I would say with that out of the way, two new duplicants, uh, they are pretty happy to have arrived in our base, I would say. But yeah, let's wrap it up at this point for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.